That's actually really made me ponder. Amazing, amazing hadith. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told his companion, he says, you know, man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allahu liqa'ahu. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Whoever loves and he is looking forward to meeting with Allah, Allah is looking forward to meeting with him. Amazing. Whoever loves and he is looking forward to meeting with Allah. Have you ever thought of meeting with Allah? Have you ever thought of going back to him? Have you ever thought of talking to him? Subhanallah. If you are looking forward to meeting with Allah, guess what? The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allah is looking forward to meeting with you. How? How? Amazing. I can't believe, meaning we believe in this hadith, but if a man imagine a, a, v, a v, V, A, P, and you are a nothing compared to that person, this is just an example, you are looking forward to meeting the man, they looking forward to meeting you? The excitement is the other way, because who am I? I'm a nothing man. Imagine Allah, walillahi al a'la, the example of Allah is always higher. Whatever we have just said is obviously to be close to minds of people. But when that happens and Allah is looking forward to meeting you, I certainly think about it and I tell myself, imagine a large crowd of people and you picked up from that particular crowd and you take it forward and you float to Allah. And Allah says, I was looking forward to meeting with you. I know how much of salah you did for me. I know how much you worshipped me. I know how much you trusted me. I know how much you endure from what I put in your path. Here is your Jannah. Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant it to us. The calamities of this world will continue until the world comes to an end itself. The world will come to an end. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We will reward you. Take it in your strife. Don't lose hope. It's not the end of everything. No. What's the worst case scenario for people? For us as human beings who are weak, we say, well, the worst thing is, am I die? That's actually the best thing for a believer. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says, the best gift for a believer is death. Imagine when you die after having a little life of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Trying you're a human being. Don't forget you are a human being. You'll falter, but you'll repent immediately. And make amends regarding your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And guess what? If you pass on that day, if you start that day with Salatul Fajr, may Allah strengthen us. If you start that day with Tilawatul Quran, with the good news and with a good plane, and so on. And you come 10 o'clock and you just pass away. Do you really think you are going to an evil place, a bad place, or you are going to be the happy so ever, ever, ever? Eternity, we all have to go. So don't let these temporary trials of the dunya distract you. Don't. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.